Welcome to Cinemondo. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. It's quiet. <laughs> it's a quiet place. All right. You know what happens in the quiet place when you make noise? You mm -hmm. die. Yeah, bad things <laughs> so. happen. Bad things happen. <laughs> So everyone's probably seen The Quiet Place by now. I mean, it, it was a pretty notorious horror movie. Did you see it? Did you see it? I saw the first one. I didn't follow up with the second one. But the first one I really liked. And I mean, I liked it too. I think that caught me so by surprise because, you know, I was a big fan of sort of The Office growing up. I oh, God, him, the yeah, best. John Krasinski. Yes. So, I, you know, I still call him John Halpert. But then whenever I see him doing something <laughs> a little bit different, like, you know, he did that action series. What's the yep. action one on Amazon Prime? Um, yep. John you didn't something buy it. Like, I, I can't remember his name, but he, he did an John action Krasinski. series. I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, John Krasinski is doing an action movie and now he's doing a horror movie and he's directing as well. So he's very talented. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I do like him. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed the first one. I thought it was really, like, I don't know if you want to call it, I don't know if refreshing is the right word, but it definitely brought something that I didn't expect and it yeah. had the elements that I liked in horror. And it was a new concept. I mean, it's something original. Yeah. We hadn't seen many horror movies about, like, you know, if you make a noise, the monster try and kill you. I mean, we have it like, don't make noise, they'll find you. But this was specifically, mm -hmm. they they couldn't see aliens yeah. and kind of sci fi horror, I guess. And then yeah. if you made noise, you know, they come down and we, you know, I guess Quiet Place started years later. So mm -hmm. we didn't see how it started, really. But we see the aliens, we see okay. the after effects. They had that. I think I liked the Quiet Place almost by sheer virtue of its opening scene. It's probably yeah. one of the coolest things ever. That was very cool. After that, especially when it comes to kids, we see kids in harm movies, especially nothing oh. ever happens to kids. That's they're kind of like a hands off thing. So if you actually yeah. do damage to a kid, points because mm -hmm. that never happens. So I was feeling all cocky. And now that's gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> so that was kind of shocking. So I love that. I mean, ultimately, I feel like they did dumb shit, and I hate it in a horror movie where people do dumb shit. Where I feel like, you know, mm -hmm. if you weren't doing that, like, why weren't they down by the the waterfall where it kind of yeah, muted no. all noise to begin with? I, I just yeah, I had those thoughts during, during my head when I was watching. I've not seen it for a while now, but yeah, I remember having a few issues with that, but I just dismissed it for the experience. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so you're just supposed to yeah. lean into it, but I mean, here it is. Yeah, like exactly. You're not supposed to make noise because there's aliens that will kill you instantly, and they, they just let the kids run around willy-nilly. Like, mm -hmm. they didn't keep track of their kids. They were always gone out in the fields. Do not make, are you not afraid that the aliens can come and get these kids? I don't know. Anyway, but it still was original. And mm -hmm. I like how they had like problem solving for like what well, she had yes. a baby. Like, what are you going to do with a baby? I know. You know they had a little soundproof cool. thing they had to put it in. Yeah. So that yeah. was very cool. So I'm interested. This is called the uh, Quiet Place Day One. So I'm assuming this is going to show us how it all started, which I'm very excited to see. Yeah. It's, it's a really different direction because I think obviously yeah. we're not getting the older cast, right? No, no Emily Blunt, no John no. Krasinski, no John Krasinski behind the camera either. So I know, you know, um, it's a different director, a uh, different cast altogether. So we got, uh, we got, um, Lupita Nyong'o. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely. We, we got some harder names yep. in this one. <laughs> I know. Yep. And then, uh, Jaiman, uh, Hanso. Yep. So, so yeah, there, there's really no familiar faces because, as we know, we didn't know these characters until huh. way later. So that's what's kind of cool about this prequel is that we don't know if they survive. Whole yep. different story. So a lot of times the prequels, there's kind of a lack of suspense because usually yeah, like yeah, in Star yeah. Wars or something, you know who's going to survive. Uh -huh. no, matter, no matter how many times you go back in time. So let's take a look at The Quiet yep. Place. All right, here we go. Oh, 471. Okay. okay. So we start with the older. Yeah. Oh, there. That's how you know he died. Mm. That was silly. Oh, that was good. Oh, rewind. <laughs> New York. <laughs> oh, she got a cat with her. I worry about the cat. Whoa! Okay, your cat's gone. That bothers me. Oh! Oh my god, dude, what are you doing? What a screamy. <laughs> screamy noise. Deep. That's cool. Whoa! Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Man, whoa. 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 
look kind of great. Oh. I don't know if we needed that ending one, but I, I felt like it ended on a nice, on a nice suspenseful moment. <laughs> yeah, I know. The thing about the quiet place is it was kind of low key, like it was small, oh, yeah. it was yeah. familiar. This is takes it to the epic level. They still have their human connection with her, and yeah. you know, it looks like they're keeping it close to her. But that that looked pretty spectacular. That bridge burning gave me chills. It was sort of nine eleven chills, like ah, oh, yeah. see iconic images like that. Oh, oh, yeah. That was really good. I'm surprised because the the director here we got um Michael Saransky and yeah, yeah. we would sort of know him from Pig, which was an another incredible, small movie, incredible movie. I really like this one of my favorite movies. I really liked it. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely more small scale. So you know, I think maybe the second half of this post, <laughs> I guess, after all the craziness and the sort of yeah. things we saw at the start with the, you know, I guess how it all started with you yeah. know him coming down and the ending yeah. scene as well. I think that's where. He's really going to shine, I feel like, because I've seen oh. that from him. But hey, he's a new director. He's not really yeah. done much else except for Pink. Mm -mm. Pink was not, Pink was like, what, quite a few years ago. So it's yeah. not even like it's recent. So he's years. been pretty quiet. Yeah. Well, I mean, pre production and stuff like this takes years sometimes. Yeah. He could have been working on this two years ago. And then we had the strike and all that. You know, so Good I don't know if they were in the middle of shooting. I don't know what the production schedule was. But these movies take longer than you think. I think it's yeah. interesting that a guy who made a little small indie movie at Think Cage was tasked with directing a huge epic effects filled like yep. action thriller that kind of movie because i'm always thinking well if you're gonna do that little character piece how do they know you can handle it but yeah. you clearly can because those images were gorgeous i mean scary I mean, looks that way from the from the uh, trailer it's all good oh. signs so far like i mean the camera works great <laughs> so great trailer. that's a good sign i get worried about the cat like my thing yeah, is i have an animal thing so that's why i didn't love pig because i thought you didn't need yeah. that. You didn't need to hurt the animal. You just didn't. You could have had the exact same story and not hurt the animal. There's no reason for that. I thought that was, yeah. I totally hated that storyline and it was lazy. It's, 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 a, it's a hard movie to watch. I'll, it's I'll a hard honest, movie to watch. That and they just kind of blew it off like, oh yeah, by the way, it's like, no, uh, no. So mm -hmm. I, I, did, I hated that. But yeah. in this, there's a cat. So now I'm worried about the cat because the guy's not known for treating animals well. So. Yeah. <laughs> So that becomes a problem for me watching this. I'm like, all right, I gotta find out to go to my Does the Dog Die app and make mm. sure the cat is okay yeah. or I can't watch it. I just can't <laughs> show it a couple times, but the cat would be in a it would be a dangerous thing to have around because you don't know if it's gonna make a noise any any moment. That's true. You know? Yeah, yeah, they can make noise, man. <laughs> oh my god, okay. But uh, let's take a look at the quick. They have one poster yeah. out, so they're really playing on this opening scene. Yeah. Here, here. I love to hear how it all began. That's pretty yeah, cool. Nice. <laughs> That's, cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. So I love it. I think the cast looks spectacular. I love the kind of, you know, intimate, the world ending kind of stuff and how you're coping and how they're going to adapt. Like apparently there are people all who are like that guy rescued her by, you know, uh -huh. but um, oh wow, that just looked crazy. And think how far yeah. they had come. So Quiet Place is 421 and 22 days ahead. So yeah. Like, oh. So a year, year and a half, or a year and a bit. Um, oh, that looked good. Wow, looked really good. Really good, really good. All right. So let us know in the comments what you think of this trailer. Did you like the other Quiet Places? What were mm -hmm. your feelings? Um, they also had, they both had great cast. I mean, casts that are way above the pay grade of what these films usually get. <laughs> so you got Emily Blunt and two of them. That's already like yeah. wow, a list. So mm -hmm. horror movies usually don't get that kind of casting. So yeah. it was, it was actually you know classy. Uh, and Cillian Murphy, I guess. Right, fresh into Oppenheimer after The Quiet Place. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? But Cillian Murphy's been in a few um, horror films, like, you know, uh, okay. the 28 Days Later. Right, so, okay. Uh, that was great. It's all about his eyes. You know? mm -hmm. his yeah, eyes very you feel like they just are clear glass yeah. almost. They're so crazy. All right, all right, so let us know what you think in the comments and be sure and subscribe yeah. and like and comment. D54, I think I forgot to mention that. D54 <laughs> of it. Cinemondo. And let us know what you think. All right. See you guys awesome. later. Awesome. Thank you. Bye.